Okay, what if you're asked to find the average rate of change and they give you a function, let's say f of x equals 10x cubed, and they want you to find the rate of change between x equals 1 and x equals 3. So the average rate of change is just the slope. So basically what you're doing, and it, and it would be helpful to actually draw this out, is hopefully you kind of remember a cubic looks something like that. Well, maybe not that bad, but <laughs> something like that. Let's try to draw a little bit better picture. There we go. And so what you basically what you're doing is you're looking from wherever x equals 1 is located. So let's just say it's right there. And then x equals 3. Let's just say right there. And you're connecting the dots to get a line, and you want to find the slope. So to do that, we know the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, but I don't know what y2 is. Sure you do. Those, those are the values of your function. So a lot of times we prefer to write this in function format, x2 minus x1. And now I just take my function that they give me, and where I see x, so let's call this one x2 and that one x1, you always make the larger value, the value to the right, the larger value, um, x2. And so I would plug in 3, and what was that, cubed, and then minus 10 times x, which would be 1, cubed. And then on the bottom, I would have the difference between my x's. Okay, and so of course 3 times 3, 9, 9 times 3, 27. So I'm going to have to unfortunately go this way because I'm running out of room. So 27 times 10, 270. And then minus 10 over 2. So that would be 260 divided by 2, which would give you your final answer of 130. So whenever they give you a function and they say find the, the average rate of change and they give you two values of x, the numerator you're just plugging in those values of x and then the denominator is just x. So that 130, a very steep line, right? That 130 is the actual slope of the line if you connected 1 and 3.